Hey everybody, Joe Burnich with Carpet Cleaning Websites and Big West Marketing. Uh, today I want to talk about um, whether or not you can trust your SEO company. How do you know you can trust your SEO company? Um, there's a big trend right now. Uh, a lot of people are getting into the SEO business. Guys that do SEO are now a dime a dozen. Um, a lot of them have absolutely no idea what they're doing or a lot of them just don't really care, there's no regulations. Um, just like the carpet cleaning business, it's very easy to get into, it does not take very much money. All you need to do is kind of say, hey, I'm an expert, and hope that people believe you. So, how do we know? So, the point of me making this video today is to kind of explain, um, kind of give you some tips, some questions you can ask uh, an SEO guy to see if he's really on top of his game, if he really knows what he's talking about. Um, okay. So, number one thing. In 2015, the Google Maps section, or it used to be called Google Places, it's now called Google My Business, that section and the organic section, the organic ranking sections, are almost one and the same. They use the same factors to rank. So, um, I have had a lot of people say, well, somebody has told me that they can rank me for, you know, 10 different cities, all in the organic section, and yes, that may be true, but if you rank organically for 10 different cities, you're not going to be ranking high on the first page. Um, you will rank probably, if you rank on the first page at all, for a city that you're not physically located in, you're going to be ranking towards the bottom of that page. And I'm sorry, but with, in carpet cleaning, with under, other industries, people will search you know, the whole page and, and probably make phone calls depending on you know, the type of service that they're looking for. But with carpet cleaning, they want to look at the top of the page, at the top half of that page. And um, I'm sorry to say that in that the, that the way that current, the current algorithm that Google is using is saying you need to have a, um, uh, a physical address in that city that you want to rank in. And I don't care if it's organic or if it's maps. Now, the, once in a while, you'll find an exception to that rule, and you'll see somebody ranking high organically in a city they're not located in, um, but the chances of that happening are, are very slim, and it's usually part of the luck factor that, uh, that is causing, you know, that is allowing that to happen. So, be very careful if somebody tells you they can rank you in multiple cities. Um, it's not very realistic anymore. Okay. Um, another thing you want to be careful of doing, and this is more just like, and I, is something that you should be on the lookout for is, um, or to be careful of, is to hire more than one SEO company at the same time. I've had people hire us to do SEO, and then we find out later that they're also using um, another company like Yodel, or so, another one of these big companies that have like an amazing sales team. Um, you know, they'll, they'll talk you into it and they'll tell you whatever you want to say. Most of them have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to SEO. They're just salespeople. They've learned some lingo and they sound smart. Um, and they are very good at sales and they are very good at um, over promising. Um, but the point is, if you're working with one SEO company, whether it's me or anybody else, and we've got, uh, you know, certain directories and citations created for your business and then another business like Yodel or one of these big ones comes along and uses different tracking phone number, um, different website, all this stuff. All of a sudden you have conflicting information all over the internet. It's going to hurt you more than help you and you're just and you're probably end up paying double. Uh, it's just a bad idea to use two SEO companies at the same time. Okay, um, Just because of the way the address, the physical location, all that stuff works, okay? Uh, highly recommended you stick with one. All right. Now, another thing I see is that um, SEO companies are not paying attention to the metadata on the website. So the physical keywords that you see in the title, and I'm not talking about the, uh, the title that you see on the page, but I'm talking about the title that you see up, I'll use my website as an example here. I'm talking about the title you see up here in the tab, not down here. This stuff is, uh, is, is so obvious that if they miss that, then they shouldn't be in business at all. But sometimes they'll miss 
these tags up here. They're called meta tags. And the way that you see what they actually say is by hovering your mouse over the top of them. And you see how that little yellow box pops up. That's where you want your keywords or your search terms to be located for each individual page that you want to rank on your website. So your carpet cleaning is keyword is most likely going to be on the home page. And then like your tile cleaning um, keywords will, will be on the tile page. You want to make sure you check all the pages that you want to have ranked. Um, so your tile, your upholstery, your um, restoration, your mold page, anything that you can possibly rank on Google and get a call from, you want to make sure that those title tags are um, set to whatever keyword you want to rank for. Uh, I see people overlook that time and time again. They'll just do the home page and, and ignore all the other pages. So pay attention to that, please. Okay. Another thing you want to be careful of is hiring an SEO company that doesn't communicate with you, doesn't return phone calls, doesn't return emails, and wants to keep everything a secret, okay? If they're keeping everything a secret, then you want to be, the, the whole point of hiring somebody to do SEO is not that you can't do it yourself. You can do it yourself if you want to put in the time and effort and educate yourself, okay? It's not super technical, but the point is it's time consuming and it is work. You're hiring an SEO person to take that over. Just like you can compare this to somebody that wants to, you know, um, rent their own portable um, carpet cleaning machine and do their own carpet. Yes, if they really want to take the time, they can probably do it as good or almost as good as a professional. Um, but they don't want to take the time. They want to hire somebody to do that because they have other things they want to do with their lives. Same thing with SEO. You want to hire somebody to do SEO because it's something you don't have time to do. Okay, it's something you don't have time or the the desire to do. Okay, that's why you hire out SEO. It's something you can do, but it's not something that you want to do or have the time to do. Um, and uh, and so if there if your SEO if if the person that you're talking to about SEO is extremely secretive about how they do things and they're not giving you any details and everything's kind of blurry and vague, watch out. Be careful. Um, because they're either not going to do anything at all or they're going to do techniques that are short-lived and could get you into trouble uh, in the long run. Okay. Another thing you want, to, you want to talk to your SEO guy about is social media. Now, social media marketing is different than ranking on Google. It's two completely different things. But Google likes to see that you have your social properties set up. You don't need to be posting on them every day, although that can't hurt. Um, there's debate of whether or not that really helps ranking or sh rankings or not. But you need to have your Twitter, your Facebook, and your Google+, Plus, all of those, the three big ones, set up, and you need to have the correct information, business name, phone number, address, all that stuff set correctly in those three big profiles. If you want to take it, up, take it to another level and do all, you know, Pinterest and all this other stuff, um, that's fine, but the main ones that Google are looking at are Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Like I said, you don't have to be posting on them every day, uh, but at the very least, you want to have them set up and you want to have them set up correctly. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about that you need to, t that you need to um, discuss with your SEO guy is um, getting Google reviews. Now, there's, this is another one where there's a lot of debate of whether or not a Google review will help you get ranked to the top. I'm not sure if it will actually help you get ranked to the top um, on its own. I'm not sure if it has any ranking power at all. But I do believe that you will get, into the, uh, get onto the first page, into the map section, faster if you have real, legitimate Google reviews. Okay? that are located in your town. Um, now, getting reviews is a whole different story, but it needs to be discussed with your, uh, it needs to be a, to a topic of discussion with your SEO guy. If they completely blow that off as if it's not important, then that's something you need to be concerned about because Google reviews are very, very important, not only for ranking, but for getting people to actually pick up the phone or to click on your website. So, that being said, um, you know, talk to your SEO guy um, about the stuff that we that I just discussed here. If they refuse to talk about this stuff, you're probably um, not talking to a very 
reputable company. Now, if you would like to work, talk to us and get a free 30-minute conversation uh, about your business and what we could possibly do for you and, and see if we're a good fit, then please give us a call at 406-493-1881. That's 406-493-1881. Like I said, it's a free 30-minute consultation to find out if we're a good fit for each other. Um, we don't work with everybody. We actually have a limited number of people we are working with as far as SEO is concerned. Um, with web design, we can do as many web, do as much web design as, as, uh, uh, as you need, but we're very limited to who we work with um, uh, with SEO because we're, um, number one, we only work with people in a specific territory and we don't work with competitors. So if you're locked into that territory, nobody else is going to be working with us as long as you're, you're part of our system. Um, we also like to work with people who um, are serious about their business, know how to pick up the phone, know how to close deals, um, understand upselling, and um, just the basics of actually running a service business. So that's, that's the kind of people that we're looking to work with. And if you think that uh, you know, we would be a good fit or if you just kind of want to talk about SEO or web design and, and, uh, and uh, kind of get a, an evaluation of your current situation, then like I said, give us a call. You can also go to our website, carboncleaningwebsites.net and fill out the little red form on the right side there and we'll get you set up that way as well. Once again, my name is Joe Burnish with Big West Marketing. The website is carboncleaningwebsites.net. I will talk to you soon. Thank you.